How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday, 1146 a.m. California time here, January 4th, 2026. Is the date uh, latest activity here on the earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.1 earthquake. Uh, looks like uh, up in Alaska there in the green flag hiding behind uh, some other quake activity out there. Let's see what's going on out here today in the earthquake world. There is a couple earthquakes here lighting up north of San Francisco. That is uh, right along the Rogers Creek Fault. Um, haven't really seen a whole lot of activity out here in a, in a bit. Uh, looks like a 2.1 and um, another earthquake there from yesterday. Uh, the Rogers Creek Fault, of course, has been uh, um, discovered that it's uh, connected here underneath the Bay Region to the Hayward Fault, uh, which would be uh, a little bit more concerning there for uh, a future large earthquake, considering the magnitude out there is dependent on that uh, fault length and rupture. So that could uh, be the equivalent out here to about a 7.5 if this were to rupture in its entirety as far as the Hayward and the Rogers Creek Fault. So a little bit of activity stirring up on that uh, there in the last 24 hours. Of course, this movement up north here in the Clear Lake Volcanic Field is not a volcano getting ready to blow. It's simply geothermal operations there. Uh, it's That's what happens every single day. I uh, got 23 earthquakes, which is pretty uh, a little light in terms of the multitude counts. They're normally up around 40 to 50 a day. As you can see here in the last 30 days, over 1,200 earthquakes uh, being reported there across the geothermal fields. Creating some energy, or not creating energy, but harvesting some energy out there. Uh, Southern California, a little spotty down here. I don't really see anything of any major value in terms of mentioning. Uh, nothing above 2.5. Pretty quiet down there in Southern California right now. Um, I'm thinking though, with all this activity we've had uh, up north, a recent seven pointer, bunch of movement down south here as well, uh, off the coast or near Alcapoco, Mexico, that six pointer, 6.5 to be exact. Um, Got to see something out here eventually. I mean, it's a little quiet, but you know, when's this area going to move? It, it has to move here eventually. I just. I don't see it uh, going any other way. I mean, we get these little quiet spells, but just be on guard. I do think we're leading up to something bigger out here soon, considering past, uh, you know, intensing up elevated earthquake swarms here in various locations, as we've seen and covered in the last year or so across California. Uh, let's see what else we have around the region. One earthquake outside of Salt Lake City near Ogden, Utah. 3.3 this morning. Uh, not a big earthquake, but uh, I don't think we get too many earthquakes out there in that region of uh, Utah. A little bit out through the mountain ranges and whatnot, but that's kind of a little bit larger than the uh, typical smaller microquakes that take place. Nothing going on through Yellowstone, um, but, you know, let's... Better go double check that just to make sure because things uh, could be very active out here. And of course, nothing will really show up on the USGS map unless it's above a certain threshold. Uh, in this case, for this area, it's a 2.5. Uh, are these up and running? Looks like it is because this is going to be mountain time here, about 12.50 or so. Uh, a couple earthquakes out there in the last 24 hours. These do look like they're below the 2.5 threshold. There's a number of them. Uh, they'll get to them probably tomorrow morning. They'll go back and look at the data and then add them on to the, uh, the map here. And really nothing going on across um, Washington. I was just looking at the seismograph stations here. This is for Mount St. Helens. Not a whole lot going on there, but I do see one earthquake up at the Mount Rainier er area. Excuse me. What a perfect time here to get hiccups. Let's see what we got up here. There was one reported earthquake. It looks like, according to the USGS, little point four. That's from yesterday. So uh, let's see if we can find that. We'll check out this seismograph station here if it's working. It takes a little bit to load, but I do like these. Uh, I do like these layouts that they have. Uh, the options integrated into the website here, where you can control the sensitivity, the line scaling line height and whatnot this one's a little overblown i don't even know if we're going to be able to lower that any just a little bit there 
not too low. Might be able to see some earthquake activity there. I don't really see anything. This one, this one almost looks like it uh, has some issues going on with it. Let's check out the other station here real quick up northeast. Of course, Mount Rainier here last year, back in July, had a pretty intense earthquake swarm. Lots and lots of earthquakes. One of the biggest earthquake swarms they've had in quite a while. This one here looks, well, let me, you know, there's a lot of rain and snow up there, so that will affect any, um, any uh, you know, picking up as far as any seismic uh, activity there. I can only imagine the ice and snow that's built up there uh, through a number of these storms, so we'll have to check back on that. Uh, oil fields here in Texas, pretty active out around uh, Pecos, Texas, northward through Odessa and Midland bunch of earthquakes out there really nothing big going on though as far as any major shakers go um, little two-pointer outside of Augusta there last night Let's see what we got going on here for the world view of things New Zealand uh, there's those threes down there again and there's three of them it just never fails three 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 pretty quiet across the uh, Oh, the Vanuatu area, Fiji area, but this follows, uh, this quiet period follows a, uh, a pretty decent amount of deeper activity here recently. Uh, but I do expect that to fill in. Most of the movement here on the globe has been across the southern area of the planet, all across the Antar Antarctica uh, boundary with many different plates out there. Um, and then we did see quite a bit down here as well. Let's see if I can bring those back. Just going to bring the magnitudes down a little bit so we can see this larger activity that's been really stirring up around the Antarctica plate. Look at that. If you look at the uh, bottom of the Earth here at Antarctica view, this plate's on the move. Definitely uh, a lot of um, adjustment here in the last 30 days all across the area. I guess maybe one region that... Uh, somewhat absent uh, well i mean they're kind of equally spaced out so hard to say but anyway we have uh seen quite a bit down there and that uh you know there's quite a few different uh fault systems here plate boundary there's uh, a couple that may be some divergent activity spreading seafloor center that's how you get these ridges forming strike slip boundaries either way that's definitely uh, some elevated activity out there in the last 30 days bring this back down uh, Mediterranean region some twos and threes out there nothing big there's that newer activity this is one of the newer ones there south of South Africa 5.7 uh, let's see South Sandwich Trench as well just been super active the rest of the Atlantic Ocean pretty quiet out there uh, there's some further aftershock activity from that 6.5 they're near Alcapoco, Mexico. I'm just kind of watching these magnitudes here. So far, we've got, uh, let's see what we got in the last seven days with this quake. So far, the largest quake of the year, 6.5. Only uh, three four-pointers, <clears throat> according to the USGS anyway. Um, but there is, you know, it looks like there is definitely a bunch more around the 4.0 level. These guys normally will only show... 4.5 and greater but occasionally they throw in these four pointers and sometimes even a three pointer it's like why report one just report them all give us the option to include all those i think that would be a neat little integration here into the, the website i think it'd be nice beneficial for all uh but nothing uh really nothing in terms of any moderate size aftershock yet i, I would expect to see you know a one or two five pointers at least from a 6.5 earthquake and so far the largest aftershocks just can be up to 4.5 there that's that's a little odd so we'll continue to watch that if we start seeing like a major increase uh, in the magnitudes out here all of a sudden that could be a bad sign that something bigger is brewing out here and it's it can definitely happen we can get uh, what they call mega quakes out here along the middle America Trench, which can definitely happen here. Major subduction zone. 
South America, a handful of quakes, but this is very typical for that region uh, on any given day. Puerto Rico area, yeah, it's a little active. Uh, got a little bit of movement up there around the uh, Puerto Rico trench, it looks like. A little, little small little cluster of quakes. A bit from yesterday and a little bit from today as well. Nothing big happening for now. Um, let's see, Alaska up there. There's that one pointer. The Crow Camp Chatka, we do have, uh, looks like some decent movement happening over there. Let's go check this out real quick. Pretty good cluster of quakes starting up. Looks like it stirred up here yesterday, 4.9. Since then, we've seen a 5.1 this morning and a couple other earthquakes. Uh, getting some aftershock sequences there from where that 8.8 .8 struck here last year. Back in July, that was a pretty active year. Watch the Japan area, though. I'm sure uh, things will start kicking back up here. Uh, the Big Island of Hawaii, I don't think they fixed their inflation chart out here yet, but we will go out there and... Um, well, I'm not, I'm not going out there. <laughs> so we'll go check the uh, seismograph stations here and the, the uh, deformation data, see if it's back up and running yet. Because it's pretty important to, to know what's going on out there across that volcano. Just want to look at the webcams here real quick, see what we have. Um, oh, see, these are still offline. This whole this whole site's offline, so obviously the data is not going to be up and running. We're at day number five now of everything being offline. Hopefully they get that up and running. This update was put out uh, this morning, it looks like. A strong glow from both vents was observed just before dawn this morning. Uh, summit inflation is continuing. Okay, so you guys have the information here. The USGS has the information. How come we don't have access to the public information here that the inflation is still ongoing? Do they mention anything about it here? Nope. Really don't see anything about... Uh, their data being offline but like I say when you go over here and check out you know the webcams are offline for sure from the 30th uh, the data let's go see what we have for the deformation data I mean they know that the inflation is continuing how come we can't see that data see back on the tw uh, the uh, 30th everything is still offline for us the public it's a little <clears throat> little interesting there this here, hard to say if this is even up and running. What's the date on these? 1231. Nope. This is still offline. So hopefully someone jumps on that and fixes it. Might have to send them an email. See what's going on there because, uh, you know, information like that should be available here uh, when it comes to the key transparency between the, the government here for the uh, public. We should have access to that. All right, uh, what else do we have out here? <clears throat> Anything going on in the space weather world? Well, it's still pretty quiet out there. That uh, big old CME that popped off a number of days ago that stirred up the G2 forecast completely missed the planet, completely. Nothing there in the forecast for now either. It never really materialized. Got a beautiful moon out there starting to uh, go back into its... Uh, other phase there it was full moon here last night or the night before pretty well flatlined out here on the uh, x-ray flux chart let's take a look here at these magnetogram images i'm keeping my flare threat pretty low um are we working hold on a second here i just i gotta click the button that's right oh uh, yeah see this one's dying this one's dying these are all just kind of disorganized folks even another one coming back over here on the eastern limb looks well i can't see all of it the leading edge here looks fairly stable and simple in terms of magnetic structure back behind that we'll have to get a little bit better view of but i don't expect much here in terms of solar flaring activity uh, we're going to keep this at a low one uh, percent or less for x flare these guys just haven't touched their site here in the in a couple days it looks like but these are these are still uh, <clears throat> probably way too elevated for what we have right now uh, from those sunspots. About a 30% chance there for an M flare, I'm thinking. 
Uh, no major coronal hole activity. The latest image here kind of looks like a foot or a boot. This is definitely recent. Really not all that impressed with this coronal hole either. It's actually a rather small one, so I don't expect any major geomagnetic storming. I definitely don't think we'll see any elevated earthquake activity with this smaller um, one there. Not receiving data. Oh, wow, we were actually way down for some reason. You guys see that? It's interesting. As soon as I start doing a live update, everything starts to go down there. Look at that. Someone trying to bring me down currently because this should be around 15,000 or so. Yep, hopefully, uh, hopefully the stream will stay up. It could go down. I don't even know how this video is going to be if it's uh, at that low of a KB. I don't even know when it started. Repeating. All right, well, um, I will call it, I guess, here on this update video. We'll see if it goes through. Looks like we're coming back up right now. Soon as I noticed what was... See, it's all over the place. That's a little weird. Little weird, folks. So I'll end this update video, see how the video comes out, and then we'll go from there. Looks like someone's having fun today. Somebody must be bored out there to mess around. I don't think it's the ISP here. All right, I'm going to jump off here before this thing uh, ends itself. Uh, I may have to uh, do some resetting. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later.